Hallelujah, hallelujah. On this live stream for your fun day. Wednesday. I'm so excited. My spirit is kind of being beginning to come into back to his normalcy in Christ. So I'm always got this speak. I just wake up up. I wake up just bring out just do a dance and here lately I'm Under 
say and they have they answer to say and they think they, they call it on the name of God but you know Satan and false representation because what messed them up is their idolatry leaders so that threw them out of they think that they're gods and you know that's why Satan got kicked out of heaven in the name of Jesus because he wanted to sit on the throne with God in the name of Jesus. So we have corrupt religious leaders, princes of this world, the darkness, the darkness of this world. It's over the people. Using spiritual manipulation to enslave God's people in the name of Jesus. I'm over the head of myself. I feel it and I feel it. I'm over the head. I thank you, Father God. For there's a spirit that just tried to attach itself to me. I thank you, God. I thank you, Jesus. As I rest you out the midnight hour. I rest when I go to sleep sometimes I can fall into such a deep sleep. But I've learned over the times that my spirit has been, been traveling in the name of Jesus. And as I arose this morning, I was like, wow, man, that was a deep sleep. That was a deep sleep. But I, I feel like I can lay back down. I was not tired, but I feel like I can lay back down and I can just go drift back off into sleep. But I heard my spirit no. So I laid there and I thought something happened. Something happened throughout the night. What happened? And um, God began to show me. I was in this facility. And management came to me. Glorify you today, Jesus. Came to me. I was I must I was must have been working in this facility because I just seen a couple of sitting around and wasn't doing anything. And they came to me and they said, Holly, let me speak to you for a minute. And as I walked to the side and they sit down and I sit down and I uh they was like you no longer need it. You have been released off your assignment. And you know I mean I cocked the attitude and I said some foul stuff. I can't remember the exact words I said, but I know I blessed her out for firing me. <laughs> she fired me out my job and I was just standing there. I wasn't doing anything. So I, when I left and I came out of that facility, get to walk out of the facility, the atmosphere shifted. And I was in the presence of basically like Godfather. And I walked over to one of them, they were standing at the desk, it's like a host. In the name of Jesus. And I was talking to them, but it was like, they looked at me, but they looked through me, and they didn't say anything. So, I continued to walk on. And it shifted again. And as I walked out the door, I was with some people that I know, but I didn't know. But I know one of them was a familiar spirit is in the form of my son. And he was like, where's my car? Where's my car? My car was gone. It was like it had vanished and they were trying to give him and somebody else was trying to bring me another car. But anyway, it just stopped. And I woke up. And when God began to drop into my spirit, I instantly got up and I got on my knees and I just sat there. Because God began to give me revelation of uh, the host that has been over my life, set on my life, has been basically stolen my spiritual identity and acting as, as me as a false god, idolatry leadership in this world. And God said He has been determined, He has been determined of His assignment over your life. He has been for a long time. And I'm like, wow, so you mean to tell me all those times that I was getting fired, you was firing him off the assignment of my life? This is rude. This is rulership. Because he had rulership. God had put him over my life. But because of the corruption and wickedness and control, Jezebel's spirit he had, God terminated his 
rulership over my life. And he was, he's been thrown out, not only the assignment of my life, but the assignment of the lives he was set over. And God has casted him out of his presence. I glorify you today, Jesus. I thank you today, Jesus. I glorify God today. of this dark world, corrupt religious things, are worshiping and they're basically selling the knowledge that they have of monetary value. They're basically selling God's people over to the enemy. Just like Judas did.